It's hard to keep up with the pace of technology, but our girls will get you up to speed. With their keen journalistic instinct, they'll uncover the next wave in the tech world. What's a blogger with a camera? We'll tell you all about vlogging and why all the crazy kids are doing it. But first, you've heard of virtual reality, but what about mixed reality? That's what Roz and Wendy are here to find out. They've been invited to NUS to be guinea pigs for some very serious science. All right, we're here with Dr. Adrian Shock of the Mixed Reality Lab. Tell us more about this Mixed Reality Lab thing and what you guys do. We're bringing the digital world into our real world so it becomes part of your everyday life. Like the Matrix. That's right, like the Matrix, yeah. Why would you want to do that? Um, you look pretty cute. I think Wendy's got a crush on you. Have you ever been approached by girls who have no interest whatsoever in what you do? It's an embarrassing question, actually. But yes, I mean, most times what I mean... Why, why is it embarrassing? Because you like boys? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like boys, by the way, yeah. Oh, great! Uh, uh, <laughs> you look really mixed, though. Yes, um, my mother is, uh, is uh, Greek and my father is Chinese. <gasps> Can you please pick some for us? Okay, um... Uh, oh, what does that mean? I said your voice is very beautiful. Oh, Finn, can you say that again, please, one more time? <laughs> say we are very beautiful and we are both very tall. Okay, this is the polyomorphic here, Megalic. Oh, thanks! Megalic is, you hear that, Megalix. What do you normally do if you're not doing this mixed reality stuff? Well, unfortunately... Where do you uh, hang out? <laughs> After a truly enlightening chat, Adrian gets down to business and has the girls begin their task, testing the reaction time of this new mixed reality game. Hopefully, they'll have some great insight for his research. Okay, so what we're going to show you is the Age Invaders game. It's a new type of Space Invaders game, except now your body becomes the character in the game. Okay, and how, how it becomes is you wear these special slippers mm -hmm. which have the uh, radio frequency tracking device that it'll track you on this on the physical game floor. Also when you... <laughs> <laughs> so what are you going to be? I'm going to be uh, the person on the internet oh. putting love hearts onto oh. the floor. When you, if you step on the love heart you'll get more energy. Okay, you're going to rain them on me. Okay, cool. So we have to wear that? That's right. Okay, girls, are you ready to play yes. the game? Yes. Okay, great. Let's, okay. let's play. Say <laughs> flabby arm. Not quite getting it, Roz and Wendy jump around aimlessly on the professor's very advanced and very expensive game board. Adrian, hey, can you give me a heart? Hey, can you please give me a heart? Okay, I'll give you a heart. A love heart? Love heart. Here's a love heart for you. With absolutely no results from today's testing, Adrian politely thanks the girls for their contributions to the field of science. Mixed reality lab is my kind of future. But once Wendy finds out Adrian is married, she decides that mixed reality may not be her future after all. Blogging may be Wendy's domain, but is it old school already? There's a new kid on the block called V-Logging, and Wendy's gonna have to jump on the train before she gets left behind.